Someone I'd like to speak about today is Sam Walton. Um, Sam Walton's entrepreneurial journey uh, began with the establishment of his first store, Walton 5 and 10, in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas, in 1950. Um, as the post-war econ economy surged, one recognized the potential of discount retailing and aimed to provide customers with a high quality of goods for affordable prices. Uh, Walton's vision led to the founding Retailer. Uh, his innovative business strategies, including leveraging economies of scale and implementing advanced supply chain management techniques, uh, he also revolutionized the retail industry and kind of reshaped consumer shopping habits. Um, Walton himself uh, offered insight into his own personal, um, his entrepreneurial journey in his uh, autobiography, uh, Sam Walton, Made in America. In that uh, biography, biography, he recounts how um, his experience started in Walmart and, and shares his perceptive on business strategies and uh, management principle, principles. Uh, Walton's uh, writings kind of provide a first-hand account, um, accounts of the challenges and you know, some of the triumphs he faced as an entrepreneur, offering valuable insight into the dynamics of the post-war economy. In addition, there are many articles at the time that talk about his rise, um, you know, as far as entrepreneur and initiative and things of that nature. There's also articles that aren't as uh, flattering. Um, when you think of Walmart, you think of like this giant store where you can go in and pretty much pick up everything. You can pick up a loaf of bread to a tool set. But this thing, there was a time when you would have to go to three to four different stores to get all the things that you can get in Walmart, Walmart that is. And some people would say that that kind of destroyed that sense of community and those mom and pop businesses that a lot of us uh, grew up with. Where I'm from in New York City in Harlem, I remember such a situation where you know, growing up, you would want to go to three different, four different stores to get everything you need. And even nowadays, Walmart has infiltrated even New York City. So that's probably some of the things that aren't so flattering or great about Walmart. But nonetheless, we have to understand that Mr. Walton did come up with a pretty good idea that reshaped America in a way that no one would ever think it, it would. Uh, one last thing I'd like to touch on is that another way that Mr. Walton's idea helped shape America, it actually kind of really helped to shape America's push towards suburbia. Uh, in suburbia was where he, a lot of his anchor stores first started, and they basically were geared towards these new residents of these areas who wanted the best of both worlds. They wanted consumer, a lot of consumer prices in the convenient, sold to them in a convenient manner and at low. 